Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got a fun one. The 2021 BMW M3 Competition. Coming here in this gorgeous dark blue color and these really neat wheels. Don't tell Alyssa, she doesn't think they're cool. Uh, it's awesome. This car is really, really great and it's especially good because I wasn't expecting it to be so good. For those of you who watch the channel regularly, you would know that I've kind of harped on a lot of the BMWs we've had recently, M8, uh, I, I liked the M2, but it had the DCT, so it was a bit of a letdown. This has exceeded my expectations. I'm really happy about that. So if you're watching this after the fact and you want to join in live so you can chat with us in the future, hit that subscribe button and join up for notifications so you get notified Tuesdays and Fridays when we're going live. And for those of you already in the chat, we will get to your chats here soon after a little bit of a walk around. So we're not going to mention the grill too much more after this on this car because that's what's made or break this new M3 and the new 4 Series for everyone around the world. Whether you like it or you hate it, it's here to stay for these cars and you just got to learn to deal with it. So I will say that I, I appreciate how on the M3, it's a dark grill, no chrome, and it's sort of built in with the rest of the car, unlike the 430i we had recently, which was a big old one-piece chrome monstrosity. So this does at least look a little bit better. But other than the grill, I think the rest of the car looks absolutely tops. There's something about the sedan form factor with these hips. The way these come out and, and they're flared and the super wide wheels, it's such a good blend of muscular and almost kind of a sleeper that it's just, it's neat. It's really, it's really getting me. What do you think, Liz? Uh, I have no opinion as of yet. Really? Yeah. On on, uh, on appearance. Oh, on appearance. Well, I thought you meant just the hips themselves. Oh. I was like, I don't even. No, the they're overall, not even that wide. The overall car. The overall car. I think this blue is really pretty. Um, it, some some spots it looks black, and I love the look of black cars. They just look sleek and mysterious. And the blue is really pretty because it pops in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a really nice looking. Car. It just looks so sleek and classy and dark, and I really like that. Those three things I really like in nice, fast cars. Sleek, um, classy, and dark. Yeah. Everybody say hi to Alyssa. Hi. Trusty camera person, as always. Speaking of Alyssa, we're going to be asking for some donations on this one because this thing, even though it sips fuel on the highway, 30 miles per gallon on our test, it is thirsty when we lean into it. And you know we're going to be leaning into that throttle for you guys so you can hear that glorious inline six yell. This thing sounds really, really good. So any donations we get will help get us to that $20 goal of doing some donuts. You can see we picked out a prime parking lot for you all where we should be able to get away with some good ones and we should have some good signal here as well. And if we get $30 total of donations, we'll put Alyssa behind the wheel and get her thoughts on the car. And I am curious about that because this is very much a driver's mobile wow. and it's fun to drive. So I'm curious what she would think. Cool. But that's $20, or it's 20 and $30 total. And if you donate on the Cash App, Cash Tag Daily Motor, all those get doubled. So we only need 10 and $15 respectively. So it goes toward our gas. It goes toward our hotspot bill for uh, doing these live drives. So we really appreciate it. Look at these exhaust pipes. Those are these things are meaty. Four of them, and they're all being put to work. I know they're probably a little bit in the, in the shade right now, but yeah, this thing is something else. Cool. Who do we got in the chat so far? We have Arthur Silva Martin saying hi. Hello. Uh, Subix says hi. Maria says good night. Oh, good night, <laughs> Maria. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, this is not a manual. No, this is the automatic. It's the eight-speed, which, you know, I'm not even that mad. This eight-speed is really darn good. I like it better than the dual clutch. And we are getting the six-speed manual BMW F4 okay. in a few weeks. We're, we're even taking it out on track. So now after spending time with this car, with the automatic, I am really excited to drive the M4 coming up soon. Uh, Arthur says this car is very beautiful. I agree. Moran says hello, and so does the Pittsburgh man. Oh, we got the crew. Yas, Moran, Pittsburgh man. We just need Tron, and uh, we'll be in business. Zoom in. 
get close in on this beautiful blue. Yeah, Look hopefully that sparkles. Hopefully you guys are getting that uh, that 1080p goodness in here because this is really looking good. And, and these lights look cool with these little blue accents. Also, Liz, take a look. I know you're not a huge car person necessarily, but look at these brake rotors in there. Isn't it weird how they all look, it looks all cracked? Yeah, is that on purpose? That's on purpose. These are carbon ceramic brakes. Just these brakes alone, the option, $8,300. That's amazing. Just for the brakes. Why do they look cracked? It's something to do with the with the ceramic on there, the ceramic coating. It's just kind of how they look, but they're supposed to be able to last on track for as long as you could possibly want to run and not overheat. So are they actually cracked or is it just a look? I think they're, I, I don't know. Someone like Moran would probably know better than me. I think they are little cracks, but just in the surface coating. Okay. Not, and it doesn't, it's not like they go deep or anything okay. like that. Yeah. Interesting. But they're huge rotors too. And these look yeah. like six piston calipers in the front, probably four piston in the look rear. The brake thing right yeah, there. that's the caliper all painted nice and gold. That's really cool. So it squeezes down on those big pizza discs. Yeah. <laughs> you can hit me up with them chats whenever you want. Arthur my couple smiley face. Aww, so sweet. Take a look at the old mill under here. Classic inline six. This thing sounds so good, guys. I'm telling you we what. We should start the car with the hood open. Yeah, you're right, we should. Not all too much to see, but it's all hidden under there. And that plastic, look at those double cross braces around there. That's cool. This thing is tight. So the Pittsburgh man said heat dissipation for the rotors. It's, that's why they're cracked? Heat dissipation, I guess. It's, that's all he said. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if he means like that's the result of heat dissipation. Because I know they're, uh, I know the, the holes help for heat, di heat, heat dissipation. You guys probably can't tell the actual cracking that's in there. They'll look, I don't know if that's coming up on camera or not. Okay. Bless you. Excuse me. <laughs> Not Bless often that again. I have to sneeze on a live drive. No. No. It is spring. Yeah, I guess so. Venturing into summer. So pollen's in the air. I'll start it up with the engine open and then we'll do another start in a minute with you behind the car because it'll sound better back there. Okay. to life right cool this bad boy down oh. let's do some inside stuff and we'll, we'll do the uh we'll save the okay. exhaust clip here for a minute take a look at the old trunk and that's the beauty of the m3 is it's a sedan it's a total uh it's just a total uh, normal practical car you've got a whole bunch of room back here you got some cargo nuts seats fold down it's a totally livable mobile that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You even got some uh, metal tie downs. Wow. Tie your equipment around as you've zoomed through the corners. <laughs> this thing is powered, which I think is a little unnecessary, but at the same time, you're spending 90 grand, so I guess people demand that sort of thing at that price point. Alyssa and I were talking earlier, we think this interior is just the tops. I love this interior. Ouch. I think it's really cool. It's really extra. Yeah. But it's got to be in this kind of a car. Right, exactly. It's an extra car, so you got to have extra, extra design. Extra interior. <laughs> extra, extra. Yeah, I like blends of of darks and lights in car interiors, and I think this does a really good job. Look at how beautiful this door is. That is a nice door. I like that door. <laughs> really nice, beautiful accents. This chrome piece that just really shines in the sunlight. Really very pretty. Hello, Joshua John. Also, Pittsburgh man joked, show us all the plastic hoses and parts that will break. Hey man, get a warranty for this thing and drive the heck out of it. And then get rid of it. And Arthur says, engine noise is better than many V8s. And I agree. That's actually just a little oh. 20 split pass through. No, okay. no little center armrest. But if you want to put some skis in here or something like that, you absolutely can. Mm -hmm. You got two USB-C ports. Rear climate control, which is surprising. Yeah, it is. That's and nice. uh, some door controls. But the main thing is, even as a five foot ten person, I am totally comfortable back here. And you obviously are as well. Yeah. I got, I got a little handle. I can uh, sit here with the window all the way down. Something you don't see a lot. So no, you the really window going don't. all the way down. So that's pretty neat. Just a lot of little surprises in this car. Things like that that I've I've been like, hmm, 
Okay, because yeah. I feel like a lot of times driving BMWs is just like face palm after face palm sort of thing, but that's not the case with this one. And yeah, I've been uh, I've been real happy so far. Yeah, you've got a decent amount of headspace and legroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, totally could fit two adults back here. No, very problem. comfortably. Yeah, yep. very cool. Huh. All right, you want to hop out back? I'll start it up. Sure. Cool. I never know how far away to sit. closely and I don't know how well this comes through video but at least for Lissa you can tell the the engine note is tuned to like a like a, a proper major note oh like wow. there's like a like a mm, yeah okay. it, it sounds like there's a lot of engineering that goes into that that's and amazing it, it sounds really darn good cool BMW M340i versus G733 I would pick the M340i I know it's more expensive I know it's less reliable but this chassis is so good the M340i engine is so powerful, it's nuts. The 3.3 Genesis is, everything's there on paper. When you actually drive the two cars, I just don't care for the interior materials as much, and the powertrain and chassis doesn't have the wow factor. If I'm spending more than 50 grand on a car, I need to have a wow factor. Huh. All right, let's get behind the wheel. Wonderful. Okay. Swap you. Okay. So for any of you just joining in, we're gonna take this M3 for a nice drive. If we get up to, actually, I gotta grab my hot spot. I had it out here getting all the signals for y'all. If we get up to 15 total dollars of donation on the Cash App or $30 through YouTube, we'll throw Alyssa behind the wheel, see what she thinks of a true driver's car like this. And at $10, we will do some slick, nasty donuts <laughs> because this car certainly can do them. There we are. All right, so this car is a whopping 93000 almost $500. And the reason I bring that up is it's a lot. <laughs> but also, uh, the latest comment is, would you, Charlie, buy this mm -hmm. car? I Knowing see that. how much it is, everyone, and Charlie, of course, would you buy this car? It's interesting because I, I just shot a review on this uh, earlier today, and it also ties in with Moran's next question, and I'm not surprised he asked it. But I'll answer the first one. I initially I would have said no having not driven this car but after driving it yes I would legitimately consider wow. if I were in the if I had those sort of means I would consider buying this car and that's that's not something I expected to say because I haven't been a huge BMW M fan for the last few M cars I've driven other than the M2 However Moran asked if I'd buy this or this Mercedes-Benz C or Mercedes AMG C63S and I would take the C63S over it just Barely. I th I think the BMW looks better aside from the grill. I think other than that big grill part, everything else about this car looks better than the C-Class. The What the C63S does better than nearly any other car on the market is it can go from completely, totally subtle, smooth, mundane sort of daily driver car to absolute bonkers machine that you can push to a higher limit than just about any other sedan especially at its price point, just like that. You twist one thing on the steering wheel and bam, you're going 10 tenths and you're so confident immediately. AMG manages to be just the right blend of bonkers and controllable together. And this BMW M3 gets a lot closer to that than I expected it to, but it's still, if this is at nine tenths of the way there, the Mercedes is 10 tenths. So okay. I'd pick the Mercedes, but it, it's really close and much closer than I expected. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's not like the BMW M8 versus the AMG GT63 where it's not even a competition. It's, it's, I would never buy an M8. I would always take the GT63. This, it's much closer. And Audi's not even in the game. Audi's out in the backyard playground just sucking rocks. <laughs> Pittsburgh man says C63S. Oh, <laughs> Arthur just said I'd buy the Audi RS4. Sorry, man. No. Audi's just not there. Their cars have no soul, the new Audi RS cars. I know I haven't driven many on the channel, but I've driven recent ones in my previous job, and, and I've talked to people who've driven the recent ones, and they're just, 
Audis just don't have that character that this car has. And personally, don't like or trust BMW. I get that, Pittsburgh man, I get that. But I also know anecdotally a lot of people who have issues with newer Mercedes products. So, but then a lot of people like them. So, at the end of the day, anyone who's buying one of these is getting a warranty. So, you know, drive it, enjoy it, <laughs> which is what we are about to do right now. Cool. It's a little sneak peek for uh, what you guys can get if we reach our donation goal. Ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> Everything. I, I really do. I think <laughs> that donut just, um, oh, white one, way over there. I already got you for that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, rats. <laughs> uh, I really do think that that donut just totally threw that hot spot out. Right. So hopefully our, our connection stays good here with the phone, but uh, yeah, we we'll want more hot spot breaking drifts. Let's get that donation goal, $15 through the cash app, and we'll swing it around. All right. It returned. Oh, we back. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we back. Don't know, uh, don't know what that one was, but anyway, on the road with the old M3. The other thing that impresses me with this car is its bandwidth. I wasn't expecting it to, especially being the comp model, competition is supposed to be the more hardcore version. Oh, stupid. It's got gesture controls, which are touchier than I've ever seen. But uh, <laughs> You're talking with your hand. Yeah. The bandwidth, even though it's a competition model, it rides remarkably well. It drives very smooth and gets good gas mileage. And then when you're ready to, to drive like a maniac, you press the M2 button and it dials you into your hardcore settings and then off you go. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. An on off switch, literally. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Huh. And apparently we're in stoplight simulator here. <laughs> Got things going on in the chat other than just saying we're back? Yes, um, how, I think they just retracted that, but how would this compare to a 911? I've, I do know people with lightly tuned and suspension modified M3s that can beat 911s on track and even hang with like GT3s, older GT3s, but this is, uh, it's not as good as a 911. I mean, it's just, it's kind of different type of buyer. Okay. Yeah. It's louder than a 911, that's for sure. Yeah, not a GT3, but yeah, it is. And okay. it's, yeah, it's, it's I mean, Cylinders are in a straight line as opposed to a box. Okay, all right. Moran says, I think that 2022 C63S will dominate the 21 M3 competition in every possible way. Yeah, but Moran, isn't that the one that's gonna be a four cylinder? I know that it will be, his comment <laughs> con continues, it'll be a four banger, <laughs> but everyone, when they drive it, will choose that over any competitor. I don't know, man, listen to this. start donating I'll start running some reds. <laughs> we'll get the cops to follow us and then it'll be a real pricey yeah. live drive. <laughs> Quick bail. everyone donate. Pay, pay for our bail. Pay for bail please. Arthur is asking what you think of the new Mercedes C63 with a hybrid engine. Yeah I mean it's gonna be fast I just and don't get me wrong if anyone can build a really exciting four cylinder it's AMG because they have <laughs> but there's people expect a sledgehammer from that car, and I just don't see a four cylinder being a sledgehammer. I see. Okay. Is that even possible to make it that way? With it's a four all, cylinder? It's all personal preference at the end of the day. It's like the argument that, yeah, an electric car is amazingly fast, but does it give you that sense of speed and acceleration and the sounds and the vibrations and everything? Gotcha. No, it doesn't. So a four cylinder is like, well, yeah, it's, yeah, you're going fast and yeah, it makes noise, but is it the same kind of noise? Okay. So, oh. yeah. Check your phone. Oh boy. Don't 
Don't do this while you're driving, kids. <laughs> yeah, they all do. Everyone checks their phone while they drive. It's impossible not to. I'm just not texting. That's the most important thing, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. And you're not drifting at the same time. Ooh. Is that uh, one from Yas? Yas? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I also have an invitation bonus for inviting some Jesse Sanchez. So I don't know if that's right now or if that was from before. I don't check Cash App very often. Interesting. But we'll take a look and see if that has a timestamp. Nice. Thank you, Yas. Thanks, Yas. So that gets us to almost, that gets us halfway to the donut donation amount. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, because that works as a, a $10. Yep. It was a $5 Cash App donation, which works as a $10 donation. And to explain to you all, the reason we double the Cash App donations is YouTube isn't sticking their greedy little fingers in and pulling out their cut. Yeah. And neither is the U.S. government. So. <laughs> the Fetty Sweet. Boys. Arthur's asking if I can drift the M3. I think for maybe like $80 donation, <laughs> we'll put Alyssa. See, because this is the cool thing that BMWs have. You press this and you get M Dynamic Mode. And that allows you to drift somewhat without completely turning off your stability and control. So that would allow Alyssa to hang it out a little bit, a little bit, without completely destroying the car. I don't even know how you do drift. Throttle, steering. Oh. <laughs> and then steering the other Yeah, see, I feel like you're an art and science. It is. And I am a noob. party box for our Tesla Model Y so that Alyssa could practice drifting on that. What's the party box? It's a third party thing you can plug into the Tesla that disables the traction control completely. Wow. And then allows you to... That's awesome. Yeah. Huh. Pretty, pretty sweet. Cobra Critic says, hi man. Hey man. Hey man. And he also donated $2.99. Ooh, thank you Cobra. And said, nice. Nice. <laughs> Well, that's good because we're coming up to our stomping grounds here soon and we can start uncorking this thing a little bit. Now that we're getting away from uh, Copy McCopster Town back there, <laughs> we're getting back into the into the hood when you can get away with doing stuff like this. Nice. Yep. Because they got their stuff to worry about over yes, here. Yes. <laughs> like homicide. <laughs> yes. And drug deals. Yeah. Uh, Moran says, if I know the AMG, they will get to sound better than we all think. I, I agree with you, Moran. I really do. I, I, I have con, I have confidence in AMG. I do. I just hope that they're not getting nerfed too much by the bean counters saying what they have to do. So if AMG gets full reign, then maybe you know maybe I'll have to eat my words. Okay. I just know that four liter is so good. Is it a four liter or a four four? Whatever V 8s in it now is so good that it's a shame to lose that. All right, cool. Yeah. We have uh, what I think is a good question from Jaden. Okay. So he's asking, is it price? My budget is 55,000 could go up to which is nice. what he found. Yeah, nice. What he found the cheap Would that be worth it? He, and he didn't give any other context of what he's into? Nope. Like what else he's looking at? Nope. I don't ever really recommend going up to the very what the top of your you know you can't afford your mortgage if you're in your car or if it's like that's just what I will spend but I could totally still pay for everything else. Mm. Are you gonna be eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches over a month? Like, yeah. If for my money I buy a ninety M3, which is like a two thousand ish range with the V8 and then uh, it would be cheaper than this but it's going to appreciate value so if you just keep it in decent shape you can use the money you save for maintenance and then when you go to sell it it'll be worth whatever you paid if not more yeah that's what I do there you go yeah you really like to buy cars that you think will appreciate exactly yeah Ooh, is this? no uh, just a four it's an A6 I uh -huh. thought it was an S6 would have had a V10 in it huh Just the way BMW motors make power so smoothly and so strong, it 
it's it's almost like an electric car. Nice. Starts here. We're gonna reconnect to that, so the stream is gonna drop one last time. Hopefully, one last time. Right. And we'll see if we can pick this up a little bit. So stay with us, everybody. Don't go leaving us now. It's just getting good. Also, we can see what this uh, expires in 13 days. You will receive this bonus once. Oh, okay. So if Jesse Sanchez is watching, you need to link a bank and send five dollars, but then you get uh then we get ten dollars. Thank you, Yas. This live stream life, man. We just need to uh move somewhere with like just entirely under a T Mobile antenna. Jaden says everyone should switch to 720. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we get this time. It's nice and clean now, but as it kind of builds up, sometimes it drops. But let's go have a little fun. Cool. We're back at it. Oh my gosh! So back at it again. <laughs> Cobra, thank you for another donation of a dollar ninety-nine. We do appreciate it, cool. and that really did help us uh, realize how much lag and glitching we had going on. So, double thanks. Right. So this is an opportunity for me to demonstrate the launch control on the M3, which is kind of confusing because you have to have it in manual mode, but then after you enable launch control, then the uh, then the manual mode switches back to automatic mode and shifts for you. So we're going to get up here to this smooth section of concrete, we're going to put it over into that. I think we need to have tra uh, is it traction?
that corner at? Okay, we you got up to like 80 or so going wow, through there. Wow, that's yeah. freaking awesome. Wow. This car manages to be fun for both hooning and for driving really fast. Which one? What is the difference? <laughs> well, hooning is like drifting and being being a hooligan. Okay. Driving really fast is being serious, but just going fast. <laughs> All right, let's get to some come on, come on Okay. Uh, Jana says, I like the manuals, but looking at EVs for an instantaneous torque. I understand. I like, uh, oh, it says a salary is 102K mm -hmm. and around 150. So he's just bragging. But so, yeah, he could afford it. He could totally afford it. Hey, one thing I did just think of, your Wi-Fi is not connecting to this, is it? Uh, turn it off just in case. I'll, I'll turn it off. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah, he could afford it. Okay. Yeah. Then, back to his original question, knowing that... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a if you like the way it looks... Oh. I think it's one of the best options from the BMW M line right now. I mean, I still love the M2. But I understand the M2's got a lot more compromises than this, and it's kind of old, especially from a technology standpoint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look at this stuff. Really nice. It's a lot of fun. We're ha I'm having a great time. Yeah. It's like your own personal roller coaster park. Yeah. Which could just be the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else? Uh, Zarif likes this car. Good. The final Legion says the front may be weird, but the way the M3 comp moves, I'm not really convinced that I care. That's a good way to put I, it. I agree. I can totally agree with that. Zarif says the speed is good. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, Moran had a really good comment too. Okay. He said uh, we'll have the 4.0 for a good amount of time and the E. S, GLE, GLS, and GT models, don't worry. Yeah, that is true. He's not wrong. Hmm. Uh, I was hoping we'd get a uh, an un, an empty on-ramp, but this light just takes forever. Rough. Rough indeed. Kiwi Interstate says the IS500 will outlast this thing times 100, too. I mean, that's true, but there's, I would be blown away if, if Lexus were able to put in as much character into the IS as is in this car. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying there aren't reasons to buy the IS over this, but if you, if reliability doesn't matter to you and you just want a very charismatic car, the M's going to beat that.
<laughs> That's awesome. Good job. Alex P says, just joined. Sounds pretty good. Nice. Definitely better than the last one. Is it involving uh, like an M2 or more like an M5 numb missile? Um, more like the M2, and that's that's a good point he just raised, is I do not care for the M5. We're getting the M5 in, a, in like a month. And the M5 was exactly like he said, it was nothing. It was numb until you went past the limit, and then all of a sudden you were, it was, it was manic. It was like a bipolar machine. <laughs> this is more like the M2. It's more dancing with you. It's more communicative, and like you're on the same team. Nice. And then right now, I mean, we're totally calm. Just be like, yeah. oh, hello, officer. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't us. I was just going around back there. Don't worry about that. Yeah. You didn't hear anything. Of course not. That's totally not us. It was some other person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maron is asking for his favorite test. Oh, yeah. It does hold gears, as you saw there when we were sliding, but we'll do it again right now. There's the rev limiter. Nice. And there's no soft limiter, as you might have seen at the beginning, but... Uh, Probably shouldn't have just shown the speed to everybody, but whatever. This brakes are all squeaky squeaky. Yeah. Wasn't it like a Porsche's? Yeah, Porsche that came out and was just like, look, brakes squeak, deal with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think we're just about at drifty time for donations because I think we got. We got a two dollar one, and then we and had a three dollar one, and then a ten dollar one. So we only yeah. need another five dollars or an extra two dollars and fifty cents on the cash app, and we want donuts. Any of you who've seen Donuts at Daily Motor, we do them loud and do them proud. And by proud, I mean we hop in the car afterward and GTFO. But <laughs> they are cool. So. also need to be able to control it and have the confidence in it and and the the desire to drive it fast i mean there are certain cars that it's like yeah you can go really fast in this thing but i don't really want to it doesn't feel like it's a good idea this car is just as happy at 25 as it is at 125 you can just putz along and it's like it's just stretching its legs like ah yeah it feels good and that's what's so impressive nice all right <laughs> We've got like comment wars going on between only two people. Okay. Yes, Zarif, this car is great. He's like commenting a bunch. I like this so much. I like the sound. And he eventually just says, I want to get your attention. <laughs> That's fair. Yep, that really is see. fair. That's yeah, one way to do it. You've done it. Don't make us put the comment delay on there. <laughs> okay, so Jaden is actually fully uh, comparing Lexus versus this. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure the IS4, I mean, I was impressed by the IS350. I bet the IS500 will be really good, and they're making a, an F version too, which is going to be nuts, but this is really good. I'm just telling you guys, like, it's a totally different beast. It's going to have a completely different character than than any sort of Lexus would. Ah, Moran is wondering if this engine will have the infamous rod bearing issues like the other M engines. <sighs> Probably not. I thought that was more of a V8 issue. I, ah. I didn't know, I mean, he might know better than me, but I didn't think that the uh, V6s, or the inline sixes had that issue much. Here's your uh, your hard limiter, Moran. Let's get you right in on the gauge cluster there. Just like a video game. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Huh. Ah! Kyle's in the chat. It's his hey. birthday today. Oh, that's right. Today's Tuesday. Happy birthday, Kyle. Nice. Well, I'm sorry we couldn't get you a V8 for your birthday, but we got you a 500 some horse in line six. That sounds awesome. I don't know when you started watching, but this thing sounds great. And when we get back on the road, I hope you can hear it. I hope you're wearing your good headphones. We should do another announcement for him. Yeah, we will do. Happy we'll birthday, do man. Yeah, happy birthday, Kyle. You know what's fun? The Volkswagen ID4, which we'll be live driving on Friday, on the gas pedal and brake pedal, it's a play symbol and a pause symbol. 
Is it really? I like that. Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah, stupid but cute. So we haven't done a little walk around here in a minute. So even though I parked opposite of the sun, you guys can see the back and the sunlight. And then we'll bring the front and the sun in a minute. Bring out that beautiful blue color. Get booty. Look at these humps. <clears throat> and look at this. Carbon fiber roof. Total carbon fiber. Very light. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Awesome wheels. Alyssa thinks they're ugly. I think they're neat. Look how thin they are too, the metal. Like it's amazing they can be strong enough. Technology, man. Science. And those big old rotors as well. And this beautiful paint. What we got going in the comments? That blue is amazing. Right? I agree. Yep. Quad Jayden exhaust. Is out. Well, thanks for tuning in, Jaden. Yep. Good luck on your car choice between the IS500 and this thing. Yeah, the main thing is test drive them both. Yeah. Something neat about having a performance vehicle like this being just a standard uh, four box sedan look like this. It's neat. Yeah. Ozzy Osbourne can't wait for the Corvette C86 or Z. Z06? Z06. I hope that's actually Ozzy Osbourne just like chilling I know, in our chat. That'd be so cool. I'll be like, hey man, how you doing? I'd like to know what Ozzy Osbourne thinks about this grill. Are you okay with it? All right, he can be the definitive answer. Okay. Pilot Sport 4S. This is running Pilot Sport 4S. I'm surprised it doesn't have a more aggressive tire on it. Huh. But honestly, I like Michelin Pilot tires, Michelin Pilot Sports. I had Super Sports in my Boxster. And uh, yeah, these, this works really well. They are thickies though. Even in the front, what are we running? 255s? These look like 255s. Uh. Uh, 275s in the front, and it must be 305s in the rear then. Yeah, no, 285s. So 275s in the front, 285s in the rear. I'm surprised the stagger's not bigger. Mm -hmm. Bigger gap. Kyle says it sounds good. good. How could he not, you know? Right? Yeah. He got brand new Sony speakers. Oh, good. Yeah. Kyle, does this color look dark to you? It's a very, it's a very ah. dark, dark blue. It's really dark. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be yeah. really hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> Moran says the i6M, is that right? Okay. Uh, has rod bearing issues, always sees them in a friend's shop. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know then. I, I don't have much. I am old BMW adverse. More and more of my friends are buying old crappy BMWs and everyone that they buy, I just, I like them less. <laughs> so I once considered buying an E30 and now I don't think I would. Cool. Yeah. Ozzy actually likes the front grill. Okay. Not, not his favorite, but at least BMW is changing things. That's fair. Well, you heard it here first, everyone. Definitive answer, Ozzy Osbourne saying BMW M3 and 4 Series grill. Good. All aboard. Okay. It is crazy. Not a train though, it's a car. Yeah, crazy car. Cool. Car. Just another $2.50 of donation or $5 in the YouTube app and we will slide this sucker around and a little bit more and we'll get Alyssa behind the wheel. And I am curious of what she would think of driving something this um fast <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't even know if i drive it fast but we got like 10 minutes left in our live drive so right pony up already guys yeah maybe she'll do a launch control you never know i've done them before right yeah i'll give you this we'll do a i'll start it up get some rev clips yeah oh yeah this one's for you kyle happy birthday <laughs> Squeaking back there? It sounds like it. Is it. Would it be squeaking if you're just in park? Yeah, maybe. From brakes? Well, no, because it should be a gear, but I don't know. Maybe there's a mouse living in there and he's not appreciating <laughs> <Dying>. the racket. <laughs> Gorgeous interior, too. The little M3 icons light up at night, so take a look. Take a look at the uh, winding road night drive for that. Signal's doing better now that we're static and not busting yeah. through triple digits. 
says straight music. Right? <laughs> music to your car like in years. The other thing is this thing got 30 miles per gallon on our highway fuel wow. economy test, which is nuts. The EPA is only 23. German cars love to exceed their EPA ratings. Nice. Yeah, so this could totally be a commuter and a fun car. Exactly. Yeah. That's what, oh, that's a police man. Um, We're gonna hold the camera down yeah. low just so that he doesn't see anything suspicious. He's not even looking at us, cool. Good. That's what the M3 does so well, is it can be, it can be all, this could be your only car. If you yeah, wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you were can you imagine car seats being in here? It'd be awesome. If you're a family guy that has yeah. to commute to work but also really likes cars. Yeah. Ron says it doesn't sound like a vacuum cleaner like the F eighty. <laughs> yeah, this does sound better than the F eighty. That sounds sure. really good. Yeah. Oh that that yeah. surprised me. A lot of people are liking this car. Good. It's I'm s i am I'm Pleasantly surprised, I really nice. am. Yeah. Yep. So we've just asked what the fuel consumption is. <laughs> 30 miles to the gallon, right? Yeah, on the highway we got 30. That's at 70 miles per hour, but yeah. 30 nice. miles to the gallon on the highway. Pretty good. And then much less when, when we're on it. What's our average been right now? I've been hard on it all day. And we are averaging, but it's also had some highway cruising today. 16.2. Okay. But we'll reset that and I'll try to remember to look at it again. Right now we're getting 25. Right. Just driving like how we are right now. I wonder if this won't reset while we're driving. I can imagine that makes sense. Ah, uh, yes, an ab workout. You can feel the tires fighting for the grip. <laughs> is that what that feeling is? Yeah, it's just kind of squirming. Squirming, squirming. Look at all those semi trucks testing right there. Yep. Oop. digits immediately sort of thing so you can at least listen to a few gears run, run out. but at the same time it's enough power that it's always exciting because when you're down around 400 horse you're like okay like you get used to it pretty quickly but this 500 horse level especially at this lightness it's every time you lean into it you go like that you're like oh man like your neck muscles have to tighten up it's it's a lot yeah it is they yeah. really The Pittsburgh man is asking for a 60 to 0 test, but we are totally not in like 60 to 0 territory where we could do that safely, right? Um. Because we are just about to get on a four lane highway. Yeah, I mean, there's this section of E course road we could do, but our signal's usually trash around there like it is now. Yeah. Um. But, you know, Pittsburgh man is one of our OGs. back to 720p live streaming guys it's just not uh when we're moving around it's it's too much if this were 720p right now it'd be like crystal it'd be really good it'd be no stuttering so hmm. just something to consider yeah that's probably true yeah yeah uh any m4 in the future i know yeah. you're getting an m5 a week and a half a week and a half Zuri, yeah. the m4 is gonna be here in a week and a half and it'll be a manual and a manual yeah. sick Alright, that's pretty cool. Cool. And Moran is asking for your opinion on which one would win a rolling race. Yeah. His GLS. Yeah. Or this M3. What's a rolling race, first of all? Rolling race when you kind of just settle down to like 30 miles per hour, do 3, 2, 1, and then both with the gas. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I would say probably his, his GLS. I mean, it's isn't so that, powerful. Isn't that the one that has like 910 horsepower? Yeah, wheel. Yeah. This is 502. I'm going to do 60 to 0 right here. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> My seat actually moved forward <laughs> itself. 
there's that pretzel from earlier today. That's a good way to get it out. Oh, oh. <laughs> you were eating in this car, Charles? I was. I was hungry. The Germans would be so upset. They would be. <laughs> You're totally right. I'm an animal. Good thing it's an animal car. mark i know pittsburgh man i know you've got it in you let's uh let's now pittsburgh man can't do cash app so maybe we'll cut him a deal uh, maybe we'll count all of pittsburgh man's donations as double just for tonight what does that mean you're just gonna go do burnouts he hasn't donated yet has he no all right so but if he if he donates 250 we'll count it as five bucks oh i see i see i see i yep. see okay okay that's only for you canucks up there since you don't have access canucks. to cash app <laughs> Or if anyone else feels like donating $2.50 then through the cash app. Yeah, that's true. Or someone else could donate two fifty, dollars and then Pittsburgh Bank could also donate two fifty. dollars There you go. And then we'd genuinely be there. Right. Yeah. Yep. Cool. We've gone through about a quarter tank of gas in this live drive, so consider that. That we have to fill it up with $4 a gallon premium. So. Sick. <laughs> oh, that is actually one of the cons of this car is that it takes premium. Yeah. But the IS 500 probably would as well. So anything in this performance bracket would, yeah. Un unfair. <laughs> cool. Not oh, electric cars though. He said, uh, Pittsburgh man said, how much do we need? So cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a gingerbread. <laughs> Maybe Pittsburgh man just doesn't want us to uh, be irresponsible and, and lay rubber in other people's parking lots. I'm sure he doesn't care. <laughs> I'm sure he's like, oh yeah, there it is! Hey! Hello! Thanks, Pittsburgh man. $2.79. Thank that, you. Is that nice? It's like 10 cents more than nice. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's uh, the Canadian version Canadians. of 69. Yeah, I, no, no, no. Uh, maybe it's like um, oh, how the, the, Cana thing. Yeah, the Canadian dollar to the US dollar. That's a good I question. thought it would be a little bit more than that, but whatever. Huh. Cool. Well, we will uh, whip it around this round boot, since it's Canadian, um, <laughs> and then head on back to that lot that we started in, because we think that's going to be pretty primo for some slides. Yeah. And I'll make sure to get out and film it, because everyone seems to love yeah. seeing it from the outside. That's the way to do it. Versus the inside, and I would have to agree, because it is it is cool seeing it from the inside, but you really get the full effect. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. Driven. All right. Uh, Moran said last week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but wait till after the roundabout too. I took the GLS for a service. Yes, dear. To, to the dealer. And they test drove it. And were, <laughs> and were blown away. The reaction on their face was hilarious. I bet. Dude, I would love to see that on a video. That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just got to be like, yeah. I've done a lot of cool stuff with this car. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I think it'd be neat if there's some way, and Moran would know if there is, 
but if in the Mer Mercedes diagnostics tools, if they can see what the top speed the car's done is, and if they were like going through there and they go, hmm, <laughs> interesting, Mr. Samadhi, uh, care to share with the class where this was done? They'd be like, no, no, not at all. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's gotta be a really nice proud moment right there. It's like when your kid just hit a home run in his <laughs> baseball game and you're like, yep, I did that. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. All right, we are gonna go do the drifting. We're going to the drifting lot right now. We sure are. So it's coming up. Yeah, give us about five minutes. Yep. Hopefully we have good streaming service over there. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was really strong and then completely the hot spot just pooped out. So um, right. we should be in good shape as we get going here. This section really isn't usually this bad, so I don't know what the dealio is this week. I'm but, still um, convinced that the the hot spot it's like some button or whatever was pressed on it when we did that drifting initially right. earlier. Yeah. Crazier things have happened, I guess. Right. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. And we also just have to make sure that there are no cops around, too. Yeah, no police right. bringing us down. Ah, uh, darn it. <laughs> also don't like this section of road because there's so many lights on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we can uh, build up some signal. Right. Not moving. Who knows? One thing. Yeah. If you are a hooligan driver, you own this car, mm -hmm. and you have someone riding in the passenger seat okay. that does not appreciate the hooliganness. Yeah. They won't be able to see what speed you're going at <laughs> Does it... with the sun shining on it. Oh, it glares. Good. <laughs> so much glare. You can't see it at all. Good. <laughs> so, yeah. No glare for daddy. <laughs> Any sort of comparison drawing or anything like that? 
but we're going to wrap it up with some donuts here soon. And, uh, yeah. How, how big of a troll would that be if, like, we, we told people donuts and then we just went and got donuts? We're just like, oh my god! Damn tree. And it then, would be, if you guys ever waste time on Facebook looking at those stupid videos that are just like people, like, look at how cool this trick is, and then it's super stupid. Those, like, really long videos that you have to skip all the way to the end. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. And it's like we tr we tra we pranked this guy, we trolled this guy, and is that clickbait? It's total like clickbait all over Facebook. It's absolute garbage. That's what this would be, and I'm really right. glad that we're not like that. Well, you never know. No, we do. <laughs> we do know. We're totally not like that. <laughs> yeah. No, we promise we're gonna go do some donuts. What is that thing up there? That. No, that. That. That's just a regular Lexus. Camry. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I feel so stupid. No, I mean, the new Camry, they did make it look aggressive. <laughs> I love this story that Moran's telling. Okay. Well, I think I should wait, right? No, you're fine. Okay. Uh, Moran says they were just in shock. The service... Oops. Ouch. The service manager asked, how? And he says, I don't know, it just happened. <laughs> I don't think that it just happened, dude. I don't know, it just <laughs> Excuse me, sir, uh, do you know how fast you were going? No, no, I didn't. Uh, was, was I speeding? <laughs> Hella. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh man says, uh, I'd be okay with you guys getting donuts. <laughs> That's awesome. You donate more to us. <laughs> Good thing we weren't trying to do there because that parking lot is filled up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We did go there earlier and the parking lot was a lot more empty. And we we're like, can we do donuts here? It's a church parking lot. So we cannot. Fun fact, Jesus loves donuts. Yes. Well, Especially a, the extra ones with extra sprinkles. Somewhere in the New Testament. He's just like, yeah, no, it's shrimp, fine. Uh, donuts, good. Those are both good things. Yeah. Previously, no, but yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, we're good with that. Donuts safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Donuts are my favorite food. Good. All the construction workers have left. I think we are in business. I bet those construction workers would be like, heck yeah. <laughs> Can we like be in your video? <laughs> Let's see if we left. I bet you we left tire tracks from the last one. I I wish we had our own lot to do this sort of stuff in because I do yeah. kind of feel bad sometimes, but. I, it's a story, man. We do! I gotta go out and show you guys that. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna take this. Do I need to take your phone too? Uh, yeah, you might go. Just one. Yep. Need some ear. Everyone else in the next mile. <laughs> Don't start yet. I'm gonna, well, do what you want. Where should I be? Okay, I'm actually gonna go back here. You guys ready for this? That's what you want. Gotcha. Oh, 
I like how Chris Brower uh -huh. just comments once on like the last three live dives we've done. <laughs> He's probably like, when am I getting to turn in the M3? Yeah, yeah. He just goes, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate response, I would say. Yep. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> like a shuddering bruh. <laughs> Feel it from yeah, deep within your soul. <laughs> what was that about? I don't know. Maybe it's the fact no one's going. Probably. At the green light. <laughs> this awesome. Was the reef still in the chat? Who? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. He was the one that said this awesome. Cool. Grammar is just too, too much for that moment. <laughs> the Pittsburgh man says burnouts. Our me members only burnout compilation. There we go. Yes. Hey, uh, Pittsburgh man. Oh, I didn't put it live yet. Pittsburgh man, we have a uh, members only video going up tonight when I get home. It's the GV80 sound test with your requested tracks. Nice. So unless you're watching it in Syria, North Korea, Cuba, or North Korea, <laughs> um, then you should be able to see it because it's blocked in those countries. Cool. That's the music. I mean, not cool for them, but like, whatever. Yeah. You're gonna do it's out of our hands. Great, move. <laughs> if if you can, yeah. <laughs> it's probably hard to do to move out of North Korea. I mean, heard stories. But if 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 you've gone through the trouble of figuring out how to watch daily motor videos in North Korea, you can figure out how to move. Probably. Oh, BMW Z4. That white one turning. Yep. Yeah. That thing is cute. It's Look at that. Little cutie McBooty. Cutie McBooty. Mm -hmm. I can still smell. It's stinky. The aroma. Of them brakes. Them brakes. Right. The cool. Pittsburgh man says, ooh. Great. Yep. Looking forward to it. Cool. And uh, make sure you saw the Brokeback Canyon video that went up as well. You posted that? <laughs> yeah. The mem members only. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So for those of you who aren't aware, we put bloopers and special videos and stuff for uh, Daily Motor members up. So if you want to see them, you can be a member. Right, yeah. Cool. Let's pull over and end the stream. Actually, no, we'll end it up in our usual spot. Okay. You guys are getting a little bonus action today. Noise. Yep. Aziz Ansari in the car next to us almost. <laughs> He's cooking too. It must be a V6 Accord. No, just a spurt. Spurt. That's what my ex-girlfriend drives. Which one? Camille. Ah. Yep. She's got a good taste in cars. She bought a Honda Accord Sport. Nice. Yep. The Spirit Spirit. Spirit Spirit. I've wondered how, which one of your exes, if any at all, watch these. Yeah, I've wondered that too. Yeah. Comment in the chat if you're any of my ex-girlfriends. <laughs>
Harley rider up there. <laughs> I've never seen that color in the Mustang, but I do not like it. I don't like it either. Uh, do you, do you think, oh, it's a manual. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, just roll rolled back? back a little bit. Do you think there are splitter guards on the front of that? No, that's only challengers and chargers. Oh, it is? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, you guys are taking five ever. Let's go. Yeah, that's a lot of plywood. $50 a sheet right there. Right. I know my plywood prices. One last pull. Catch up with this Mustang. Do it. I wonder if we can do like a little bit of a race. Right do here. it. Need the gas. Flash them with lights or something. Uh, plus, you know, so get sent to Gapplebee's. What? Put a gap him. Put a gap between okay, us. Okay, gotcha. Take him out to Gapplebee's. Gapplebee's. Got it. I have to remember that one. Let's do it. No, because we gotta get back over here in a minute. Oh, he's weaving. He's looking at us. <laughs> yes, he's like, what is that? It's so loud. Oh! Heck yeah! Perfect. <laughs> Let's see if he wants to race. Oh boy, you guys are in for a, a Trady McTree. No, he's totally not. Okay, well, we're gonna pop him anyway. Okay, can you put the window up? Sure. It'll just be super loud. You guys ready for this? This is gonna be fun. Oh, he didn't even start. He's still back there. Yeah. He's like, I'm too cool for this yeah. tomfoolery. <laughs> it was one of those things where he just had, kept his head straight yep. and then just slightly looked over. Like, I know. So lazily. Awesome guys, well this was a fun one. Thank you all for coming in. We successfully burned a bunch of gas, a bunch of tires. Bunch of brakes. Bunch of brakes. It was fun and completely different side of the spectrum here on Friday, Volkswagen ID4. <laughs> so tune in four o'clock on Friday, we'll be doing that. And uh, also we're driving the new Civic in uh, about five minutes. So that'll be cool Sweet. too. Ooh. It would be fun to show people that color, but whatever. Well, you guys can see it later. In the actual videos that are posted. Exactly. Where did all that dirt come from? Well, Is these it? tires are super hot and sticky right now, so it's just picking up anything, any sort of road debris. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that Pittsburgh man says, stupid Mustang, probably a V6. It was a V8, actually, to be fair. We checked. Huh. <laughs> cool. Whoa. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Looks like Alyssa's laughing at some chat. She'll have to tell me. What's that? Yeah, we're on. In California, laser jammers are illegal, but I do have it on all of my cars, but cops usually don't give a damn when they pull me over, so I think it will be all good in Michigan. Yeah, that's the People's Republic of California. So <laughs> here in Michigan, where we've got freedom, it's not an issue. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you had fun. Thank you all to our members and donors. And we'll see you on Friday. We're Charlie and Alyssa from Daily Motor. And as always, drive on.